Welcome fellow preppers, this is God in Country 720. So, I got asked something today from my brother, in fact. He asked, you know, how do you get a hold of other preppers? You know, their safety in numbers. And I believe that very much. You know, I, I really, really do. I have multiple firearms and I can't carry all of them. I can't shoot all of them. I have them in case I may need to arm other people, other like-minded, trusted people. <clears throat> so, it's what's brought on this video today. You know, how do we stay in contact with each other? How do we get in contact with each other in the first place? Um, I think it's important to get to know our friends and family and neighbors, whether that be through out a neighborhood, throughout the city, or even throughout a state so that way we know we have people we can get a hold of in case we need to. Um, I think that's important. There is a very much a safety in numbers and I think if we can band together when shit does hit the fan, we're much stronger as say 15 people than we are too. It's going to be harder to take what we have. So I encourage you, you two, get together with each other's preppers. <clears throat> get to know your fellow preppers. Talk to them. You know, share ideas, learn from them. It can be very much an educational experience. But more or less, how are you getting in contact with other preppers? Um, I've actually checked Craigslist and found some. Now, granted, just because I find somebody on the Internet, I'm not going to show them everything I have. Or, you know, you're going to go through interview processes, at least with me. So tell me, how have you found other preppers and... How are you getting connected? Or if you're a prepper looking for other contacts, send me a shout out. Um, thanks for watching very much. This is God and Country 720. Uh, please subscribe to my channel and remember, stay alert, stay alive, and be prepared.